Hi, darlings. Welcome back to Royal Appleberry. I am Kenny the Messy Soaper. And um, today I am doing another straight line pour. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do any anytime soon, but this is uh, this is the same week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, and I'm actually going to use a fragrance that doesn't accelerate just because I don't have very many. And then um, one that I have, it heats up too quick. So I don't want my soap to end up cracking. So the color I'm using is My Mix Coral from TKB Trading. I'm just going to use this one color and lighten it for because uh, I'm going to do just two different colors and just lighten this as I go. Not like an ombre, but coral, lighter, coral, lighter, coral, lighter, and so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to pipe some flowers on top as well. Hopefully that goes well. Um, we'll see how that works. Uh, yeah. And the fragrance that I am using is uh, white peach and hibiscus. And it smells freaking fantastic. Um, as you guys know, I'm not going to talk through this whole thing because it's going to be a lengthy process. Um, the last one took me two hours, so I don't know how long this one's going to take, being the fact that the fragrance doesn't accelerate. So, on that note, um, enjoy the music. Of course, I'll bring you guys back when I'm almost done and all that stuff, you know what I mean?
I don't know if some of you noticed what just happened. <laughs> so you guys saw me pour the last layer. And when I poured it in there, it was like super fluid. And not only that, it had like a lot of bubbles in it. I'm like, why did that pour it in there so easily? I forgot to put my lie in it. <laughs> so I had to pour it out of my mold. Thank God I let this, um, this layer set for about an hour while I was piping flowers. So it's pretty hard. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe I've done that. That that's the first. I have never ever ever forgotten my life. <laughs> that is way too funny. So whew, I'm glad I noticed it because I would have came back like, why this haven't set up yet? <laughs> so let me go ahead and get my lie in here. Alright guys, I'm at my very last layer. And I do like the colors. It's starting to look more pink now. I don't know why. But maybe I've just been staring at it too long. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and mix this in. This has taken a very long time just because I piped flowers today. And I will remember to put my lie in. <laughs> So I do feel like <laughs> um, this it will be a while unless I just get crazy inspired like I was with this one before I make it up because I mean these straight line pours good lord they do take a long time <laughs> they really really do take a long time but I guess you know what the outcome is worth it so <sighs> it smells fantastic and I put my flowers in the freezer because I would like to get them on today so we'll see and of course i overpiped what was needed but it doesn't matter because i could just use them for another project turn the scale off don't want to run down my mattress all right so here is the last and final layer and then i'll run up and grab my flowers i think i should because i didn't wait very long for this one to thicken up I think it should be okay. Alright, so these are all the flowers that I pipe. This is still kind of jiggly on top. I don't even know if these are set up enough, but we're going to find out. I made them lighter on purpose just because I want them to have like a different, like a pop, a bright, lighter color. So, of course I didn't show you guys me piping all of them, but I did do one. Oh, that's going to be so cute. Oh, I got to not to drop them down in there like that <laughs> um oh that's so cute oh that's so cute now i gotta i don't know Let's see try my best not to drop the next one uh oh I think this one might be a little too big oh there we go Let's give her a little bit of a turn. If it sits off a little bit, I'm okay with that. This is so dainty. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Okay, and then I'll put one more big one. And these froze pretty fast. Or set up, should I say, because I froze them. I would like to... I don't want to do four big ones and then some small ones. No. That's okay if I get a little bit around the edges. It's absolutely fine. These are so dainty. Oh my gosh, I love these. So, I didn't want this one super tall. I do have some soap batter left, but not going to use it. Just because um, I wanted this to have a flat top. 
you can see. I probably could have waited a little bit longer for this to set up and I think I will just because I don't want them to keep sinking so I'll bring you guys back okay I let it sit a few more minutes that should be good I don't want it to set up too much where I can't put anything on it but um um I'm so on the fence about using this last maybe I don't know Oh, well, anyway, I think I want to put more on here that I need than I need to put, but whatever. I'll figure it out. So, I want to put some that don't have poppies. Like that one. And then I probably should have popped these back in the freezer just because they feel like they're starting to fall out. It's so hard to hold these with these gloves on, but can't take it off because this is um, still caustic. So, probably should not be touching that without gloves on. Not very smart, guys and girls. Okay. I think I want to use this little cutie right here. This little cutie patootie. I'm just kind of feeling my way around here. Uh, pipe flowers are so much fun, but um, I don't do them very often. I know uh, this is shocking to some people that I actually can pipe because I never really do it. If you're new, you probably never saw me do it before, but I have. Um, I don't do it very often because it is time consuming. Um, but I do enjoy them. I really do. They are so pretty. So I just got to figure out how to, yeah. All right, it's starting to set up enough, so I need to start pushing these down a little. And then I think I'm just going to go in with a bunch of little tiny ones and kind of fill in the gaps. Oh my gosh, I just can't even get over how cute these are. So, um, I had a name, but I don't know. I don't know. I think. Yeah, the name of this soap is going to be called Poppies and Peaches because these are poppy seeds. They're not poppy flowers, but they are poppy seeds and the fragrance is peach hibiscus. So, Poppies and Peaches it is. I like it. I think it's cute. Alright, let me grab. Oh, the cute is so tiny. <laughs> oh, that's so adorable. It's adorbs. So, I'm going to stick her right there. Uh, I probably should have made more smaller ones just because I got some space to fill in here. So, see if I can stick her in here. My boy cat has lost his damn mind, I swear. I'm sorry for cursing, guys, but I just fed him. They get dry food um, in the morning and then they get a um, can of wet food in the afternoon. And he has lost his ever loving mind. He's up there yowling so loud and he's running through the house. I just want to go up there and just give him a little slap across the head. <laughs> Which I don't abuse my kitties, but he is deserving of a slap across the head today. Because he is just really doing the most right now. So if you guys heard that, I'm so sorry. I don't really like... Hmm, I don't really like how that's sitting up right there. I'll fix that later. I guess I need to get these on here before this soap starts to thaw out. Because it is starting to thaw out. Can I fit that in there? Nah. Woo! I don't know. There's a little bit of finagling here. Oh, I should probably clean my fingers. Yeah, they are starting to thaw out because they're getting kind of soft. All right, so hurry up, Kenny. I, honestly, I think that's really all I can fit on there. I don't see any other space for me to put another, another flower. But that's fine because this is, oh, it's so cute. It is really, really cute. So, guys, um, stick around because the cutting is coming up next. I'm going to hold this up let you guys see it because it is absolutely adorable. really is. And I, I think I said, I'm not sure. I don't know if this is going to be a straight, straight line because from the sides, I see just little hairs and dips, but... Oh well, what can you do? That is beauteous. Oh my gosh. So I can't actually turn it to the side so you guys can see. So I don't know how straight that is. And this came, those streaks came from me um, 
pouring in the batter without any lye in it. <laughs> so we'll see what it looks like. However, no matter, it's still going to be cute. So I'm going to hold that up for you all to see. And I'm not going to put any glitter on this just because I don't think it needs it. I think the flowers and the poppies are more than enough. All right, guys. So um, stick around for the cutting because it is coming up right now. So you know how like you could be sitting somewhere and then like a thought will pop in your head and it's kind of like bing and it's just like whoa so what I mean by that with this soap I know that I said I'm gonna name this soap poppies and peaches well guess what I'm not because <laughs> when I said it it was just something in the back of my mind was like that sounds very familiar uh, you know what I found, sounds familiar because that's Holly's soap over in Missouri River she made a poppy soap I heard it's called poppies and peaches so I ran out of our channel I'm like whoa no I can't do that so that's not gonna be the name of this soap I haven't figured out what it's gonna be named yet but however it is go just excuse dry hands y'all I have been super busy all day and I don't know what in the halibut is going on with this color down below you see that I don't know I really don't want that to be the color of this soap <laughs> and it's only like this one is starting to lighten and this one's starting to darken one two three those are fine i don't get it at the bottom like for seriously what the hell so anyway um yeah i'm not gonna worry about it i'm sure to sort itself out but anywho i came down here to cut the soap as you can see i am grand oh I still got just a wee bit of pain just tiny bit not to the point it's even bothersome you just know it's a reminder like hey slow down but oh y'all mm -mm, I can't let me get some lotion so my darling Prue over at Suds and Satins she gave me this for my birthday and the March uh, month of giving soap swap um, it smells so good it's such a beautiful cream and I it just feels so nice on my hands a little bit goes a very very long way and um i just keep it down here in my soap studio for times just like these and oh i just want to say something about my soap uh oops turn that on the side i should probably plain this first well bevel it should i say not plain i always say that anywho uh yeah i want to say this i'm so glad you all participated i said that before but yeah so i'm just a little bit annoyed about that um i gave away well I swapped with six people for the uh, March month of giving. I only got two back, which was from Chris and Prue. Yeah, that's kind of not cool. And I really do hope that like um, everybody who swapped, they got their swap back from that person. But yeah, I, I, I don't, I didn't like that. It's not about me getting, but, you know, don't ask to swap with me and then I don't get anything in return. So I didn't appreciate that. But anywho. So, <laughs> right now these lines are not straight, but that's okay. They're kind of cool. Uh, I'm just really wondering what these two colors are going to do. I guess I'll know in six weeks, won't I? Smells really good, though. Let me get a, a napkin. There we go. But, um, yeah. I love, absolutely love the top of this soap. And it is hard. So yeah, what I've been doing today, my door on my house, for those of you who are new, I bought a house almost a year ago. It'll be a year on the 8th of May. Um, bought a house and this soap is like rock hard, like seriously. <laughs> um, that's so cute. But I'm all over the place, guys. Forgive me. So, story. Bought a house. My house is brown and cream. Um, my shutters are brown my door is brown it is like so fucking ugly and I just couldn't do it anymore I was like I can't take it man and I've always wanted a red door on my house this soap is so hard I gotta push the wire down in it I'm so glad I did cut it today but um so I painted myself a red door that's what I've been doing all day and it turned out lovely it did the first paint I got was kind of gross it was Valspar um Valspar has very good paint but I forget chroma tricolor or something like that but it's very elastic -y, the paint it didn't really go on very very well so um I read the reviews after I purchased it and out of 738 reviews most of them were bad 
Uh, so, yeah, I didn't like it. So, I went to Home Depot and got Bear. Yeah, Bear. And um, I really liked the way that went on. Plus, the color. I did change the color to a little bit darker. And I do love it. Just like I love this soap. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, my God. Nah, so cute. I'm just really curious about what is gonna what's gonna be I know I keep saying that and so yeah my lines aren't completely straight but I'm not mad at that it is still really really cute it's so happy looking oh my gosh I don't know what I'm gonna name this I really don't because of course um she had it first I would never do that to Miss Holly so gotta come up with something else I really don't know, but I'm sure by the time you guys see this video, I'll have something. And so, if you were interested in purchasing this, so today is April 27th. It will be ready, I'm gonna say it'll be ready in the next two weeks, because it's rock hard. But, um, I would say, uh, May, around May 20th, it should be ready. Um, you'll find it on my website. If you don't know how to get to my website, at the very end of the video there are some pop-ups that are interactive uh, the one that's a circle you can click on that no wrong one <laughs> uh, it's one with a soap in it I believe it's a square you can click on that and it'll take you right over to my store or you can just look at a description box and it'll it'll have a link there that you can click and take you right over to my store <sighs> I do like these I do it's just something so I don't know something so girly about them and they do smell amaze. I really do like this a lot. Like seriously, like a lot. And okay, yeah, my colors didn't stay. I kind of went off the scale. I thought I was measuring right, but I mean, I didn't measure out my mica. I just did the spoonfuls. But uh, I kind of like it like this. It is cool though. Oh my gosh, the soap is like super hard. That's crazy how hard this soap is. <laughs> that's funny how to get those little squiggly lines on each one interesting huh very interesting but I like it I will do something like this again because this is fun it really was thank you guys for sticking around and watching my cutting video I do appreciate you I seriously seriously do and for those who are new to my channel, I'm so freaking happy you found me. I may have said this already. I don't know. This is a couple of days later. But uh, I am truly freaking happy you found me. I really am. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video. And if you would like to get notifications of whenever I post new videos, all you got to do is hit that bell, which is right next to the subscribe button. That's the easiest way to tell you how to find it. Because <laughs> normally I'm like, wait, it's it. Wait, no, it's over. I don't know. So, um, yeah, it's right next to the subscribe button. Just hit that bell, and you will get notifications whenever I post new videos. That way you can run right over here. You guys see how hard this soap is? It's like little pieces everywhere. So, yeah, I was actually watching Tiggy's video of her soaparoons, her soap version of macaroons or macarons. Um, and I was like, you know what? I got a soap I got to cut. Ooh, let me run down there. So, yeah, this is three days later. That is so pretty. I love this soap. Like, I do. Like, for real. I do. That's so cute. You guys like that? Ah, that's really cute. So, today's question is, should I make another one of these? Yes, no, or you don't care? <laughs> Just click the eye in the upper right hand corner to take the poll. Okay. Yeah, this is like super crazy how hard this is. Okay, and the reason I know I keep saying that, but I don't have soaps that are normally this hard. But my recipe, my new recipe, I kind of know that I have to cut these like very quickly or they will get too hard to cut. Oh, that smells good. Now, so if it did turn like this chocolatey color, I kind of like it. Now that I cut it apart, I kind of like it. So we'll see, won't we? But I. <laughs> If this fragrance has vanilla in it, let me tell you, I'm going to be so peeved. It says it didn't, so I'm just trying to figure out why this color is turning brown. I'm just trying to figure that one out, but anywho, we'll see. Oh, yes, that's crazy. But yes, um, no, 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 I want to change the question. 
uh today's poll question is do you love a red door on a house yes because i was talking to one of my co-workers and he was just like what is it with women and red doors and <laughs> gabe he his game is like well you know whatever but he was just like why red even hunter my daughter who was just like why you want a red door i'm like guys don't make me scratch you i need to have a red door i've wanted a red door ever since i was like i don't even think i was old enough to <laughs> rent a place i'm like i want a red door when i get a house so and here's a funny story years ago there were these really pretty apartments and i always liked the apartments because the buildings were like this um like a dusty blue dusty pale blue and the doors were red and i was just like believe it or not true story i wanted to move into those apartments because the doors were red so guess what I did and one week after I moved into the apartment <laughs> oh, let me stop my belly shaking this table um, one week after I moved to those apartments they painted the doors gray I was livid <laughs> I really was so yeah today's poll question is do you love a red door on a house yes or no or it doesn't matter to you I do like a red door and I had even saw a coral door and I showed it to Gabe and he was like what happened to the red <laughs> I'm like I don't know it's just a it's just a suggestion so um he was just like yeah you know what let's just stick with the red and I knew that was kind of pushing it but you know I can get never know so all right guys that is it that's the last piece I love this soap I do I hope you guys love it as much as I do because I did have fun making it even though it took a very long time but it was worth it because it's super cute Oh, these are so cute. They're so cute. So, guys, um, love hugs and kisses. Be awesome, amazing, everything you do. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did like this soap. And it's greatly appreciated because it does help my channel grow. Yes, it does. And I want to grow with you all. This is just like crazy. Oh, my gosh. But, anywho, um, thank you. Thank you for the support and the love. And I will see you in the next soap making video. Bye.